morning guys welcome back to my channel and welcome to another vlog i thought i would start a new vlog today it is currently monday morning i have just finished having a shower and getting dressed for the day archie is down for his nap but i thought while archie is down for his nap i would um tidy up this room a little bit i've let it get a little bit out of control what's new though um i kind of want to reorganize this mess on top i bought this yesterday We've got all sorts here my goodness i bought this yesterday from woolworths um it's just a little clear acrylic drawer like little free drawer set and i want to put my jewelry in here so i've got this little thing which i thought could just you know sit on the top there um and i can have my necklaces and stuff in there but i also want somewhere where i can put my rings um and other earrings and bits and pieces so that um they're not sitting out here getting dusty and going gross like this neck uh bracelet this is a really beautiful bracelet i need to get a lot of my jewelry cleaned because i've had it for years and years and years some of these things like look at that that's supposed to be silver it's literally black but um i need to figure out a way to clean those if you have any really good ways to like clean your jewelry please let me know because i need to find a way to get it all nice and clean again and then i thought i would put them in these little drawers just to keep them dust free and um it be nice and tidy and not have it all cluttered in here so i think i'm gonna get this done first because i'm excited about this but i've also got to like just organize this area and this is what it looks like now so much better so much tidier i can see everything as well um I've just put all my little necklaces up here. This is like the only chunky necklace that I have. I actually got rid of a lot of my jewellery. I had so much jewellery um, that I just never wore. I don't wear jewellery all that often. If I do, it's like my engagement ring um, or like a dainty necklace or maybe a bracelet. Like an, I'm not a big jewellery wearer. I would like to wear my jewellery more often. Hence these drawers. Like they're good. I can see everything. Just pop a couple of pieces on during the day. But yeah, we have a big chunky necklace. This is just a chain from um, Kmart, I think. I've got two gold necklaces. This one here, this little circle one, was from my dad. Um, he bought it for me years ago and it's got like little black and white diamonds in it and i just absolutely love it um and then we've got um this one here which is from zoe and morgan ola brought this for me um like probably near maybe like for our two year after we'd been together for like two years but it's so cute it's just little fox um necklace i love this because it has like a um i love the connector for it it's just a little lock and key and then this one here is a beautiful little karen walker necklace oh, i love this so much but yeah again this needs a good clean it's just a little daisy um it's so cute i absolutely love it but yeah i like that i've got nothing on here now it's just looks a lot tidier and then in the top one i've put earrings i've just got these ones here i think these are from kmart too one hoop i don't know where the other one is i'll keep that in there for now but if i can't find it i'll just chuck it away and then i've got these ones here which are from reliquia these are like my little everyday hoops i love those they're so cute and then we have rings my engagement rings um i need to get a new diamond for this because the diamond fell out of it um so yeah that's a little bit frustrating so i don't really wear my engagement ring a lot anymore sometimes i'll wear my band but um yeah I just like to keep it in there just so like I'm kind of scared that the diamond's going to fall out of it or something since the big one did. Um, but yeah, the prongs on this used to get caught on my clothing a lot and then I just, it fell out one day. I've got these little gold rings here. Um, these are just like random little band rings. These are actually really cute. Um, this one here from Esdemira. It's kind of like a, I thought I would use this as my engagement ring if we were traveling somewhere so that I didn't lose my engagement ring. Um, this is just a little Pandora ring. I used to have heaps of Pandora rings. I just always lose them though. I don't know how. I'm not very good with rings. I tend to lose them a lot. Um, and then I've got some bracelets down here. So all of these need to be cleaned. I can't remember where this one's from. This is a really nice one. You can add little charms to it. I love this when it's clean. Same with this. This one is called, what's that? It's called from a brand called Rosie Brown, I think. Yeah, rosy brown, I'm pretty sure. But this is really cute too. My dad and um, my stepmom got this for me. 
And then I've got this little one here. It's a Gucci bracelet, which my stepmom also gave me. Um, and that's really nice too when it's clean. So please, if you have any ideas on how to clean jewelry, let me know. Um, and then this one here, I actually got this from my work for being with them for, how long is it? Five years? Four or five years, I think. Um, but this is a Swarovski bracelet. I just need to fix the chain because the chain um, came off. I've just got to put the prongs back together or something but yeah that is my little jewelry collection all right i found more jewelry i was so sure i had more jewelry and i found it um i found a bunch of silver hoops and some gold hoops as well and then these little ones here i think these are swarovski as well um and then this is one little pandora earring but i need to find the other one i don't know where it is um no more rings i found my charm bracelet from when i was little which i'm like kind of forgot I even had but I'm so happy I found that it's so cute um and then I've got my little Pandora bracelet Pandora charm bracelet um and I also found my watch I don't really wear my watch anymore but um I just put it in there so that if I need to wear it I remember to wear it and then I also found a bunch of like earrings and stuff as well just like big chunky ones that I'd never wear anymore um more like costume jewelry so I've just popped that in here and I'll pop that away because this is the stuff like this is more dainty stuff, more everyday kind of jewellery that I would wear. I have done all the washing. Now I'm just like kind of organising areas of my room. I want to do the bedside tables because they're kind of gross. I need to sort out the washing. This area is nice and not tidy, but like all the washing has gone from it. So yeah, I'm just doing bits and bobs around my room. All righty guys, so it is now the next day. It's Tuesday afternoon. I've just popped Archie down for his nap. Um, and I thought I would finally show you guys this little Kmart haul that I've had. I've got a box of stuff from Kmart. I did an order a couple of weeks ago and I got it like a week ago and it's just been sitting in my lounge taking up space and looking ugly in the corner. So I want to put it all away. So I thought I'd just come on here and show you guys what I got quickly. There's a couple of things here that I don't have. The first one is just a big like white t-shirt. I don't have that it's in the wash at the moment. Um, but it's basically just an oversized white t-shirt. Um, just like super handy and goes with everything. Um, and then the other thing is just a little silicone um, hair washer silicone cup kind of thing for in the shower for when um we're doing archie's hair it's just we had a like a jar in there but it's glass and i just feel a little bit uncomfortable about him having glass near him in the shower so we've taken the jar out and we've put in the little silicone one that way he, he can play with it as well i actually went on and did an order to get a bunch of tea light candles because i've completely run out of tea lights and i can't <laughs> use my wax melts and I've got a lot of them that I need to use. But um, yeah, I've run out of tea lights. And I completely forgot the tea lights. And another thing I did the order for was um, some new chopping boards. Of course, I forgot those too. So the two things I actually made the order for, completely forgot. I got a little bit carried away with other things. And these are the other things. <laughs> the first thing I got was this little tote bag here. I thought this was so 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 cute i thought it would be like a great beach bag it's a little like quite um structured as well however i literally think they've just gone ahead and put cardboard in here that's what it feels like to me so it'll probably wear down after a while but i mean it looks really cute i actually wouldn't mind if there wasn't even like structure to this bag if it was a little bit more flimsy because it's just super cute i love this gingham print at the moment i think it's just really cute and fun for like spring summer so i thought this would be like a nice picnic bag it'll fit all of my things in there it'll fit anything for archie i need in there and like more so yeah it's a great size bag it's got a little um zip pocket and then it's also got like a little pocket for your phone or something as well so yeah i love that and that was only 18 dollars I picked up some leggings. Um, these are the V-shaped leggings. Um, I really like these. They actually look really flattering on. I haven't tried this particular pair on, but like the V-shaped leggings I find are very flattering on the body. So I picked these up and I really like the color. On the website, they actually looked a lot more green, um, like sage sort of green than blue, but I do like this color as well. So I'm not too 
bothered about that but yeah they need to fix the photo because the photo literally looks like a sage green um and it's also got a little pocket in the back part here just above your butt um so great for like something small yeah i thought those were really cute too these were 18 dollars as well um and they feel super soft too and then i got this this is a little headband it's just got like stripes on it i don't really know what i was thinking when i bought this i thought maybe like cute with my hair up in a bun and then like some pieces coming out or like maybe my hair curled or something like that but i don't know i think it's a lot bigger than what i thought it was so i don't know we'll try and make it work but that was only five dollars I got a, another hair accessory. Now I have been loving these clips lately. I have a couple already, um, but I don't have any in like a fun, cute sort of color. So I picked this one up here. This was $7. It's just kind of like a pearl, like a um, apricot pink with like a pearl shell through it. It's really, really pretty, but I just love these for like every day. I hate tying my hair up every day, like I have today because my hair gets damaged really fast but I find with these like it's just super easy it looks really cute so I just picked up another one of those I have a set of notebooks now when I bought these I actually thought they were a lot bigger than what they were but I thought these would be great for like just to-do lists quite often I just find myself jotting things down um, of things that I need to do or video ideas or all sorts so I just picked up this pack of three um notebooks let's open them these were i think these were like three dollars or something like that but they have this one here which i love the most this little print is so cute little floral print and then there's this one here that's just a pink one that says see the good and then this one here with little palm trees but they are like a really good size just to chuck in my handbag or um have around the house just, just to jot things down so they're super cute I got myself a new phone case. It's this one here. It's so cute. It's just a clear case. Let's open it up. It's just a little clear case with daisies on it. I thought it was absolutely adorable. So I'm excited to put this on my phone. The back of my phone is completely shattered at the moment. So I don't know how it's going to look. But I just thought these daisies were really, really cute. So I might pop that on. I'm going to pop this on my phone after I finish this haul. So I'll show you guys that. We have a couple of things for around the house. So I picked this up. This is a um, magnetic whiteboard organizer. Really random. But my idea with this is... Let me open it and I'll show you guys. Yeah, this is what it looks like here. It's just like a little white bin that will that has a magnet on the other side but my idea with this was to stick it on the side of my dryer so that I can put the lint in there like just easy somewhere easy to chuck my lint because quite often I'll take it out and then I'll put the load in or take the load out and then I just end up leaving it there sometimes so I thought this would just be easy to take it out of the dryer and pop it into this little thing and then empty it when it's full so that's what I'm going to do with that and then I also have some little hand towels as well i always like to grab hand towels i feel like i run out of hand towels really fast or they just get really dirty easily because i'll often like take them and like clean my makeup brushes on them or something so i just picked up a couple of new ones these are in the mosaic print i just thought these were really really cute and i love the look of them they're nice and like light i've got dark bathrooms so they'll be nice and like bright in my bathroom and then they've also got the little tassels down bottom so i got two of those those are so cute i kind of forgot i got those all right and then the last things i have are for archie they're all just like baby slash kids things so let's get into these i got him a new pair of pajamas these ones here are like just little mickey mouse ones um this is the like short set obviously but we are getting into a little bit of warmer weather here at the moment so i thought i'd buy the these for those um like warmer nights and then he can just wear his sleep suit over the top because he still doesn't sleep with blankets right now um so yeah i thought it would be really good for the summer months all of his other ones like this don't fit him anymore so i need to get him some new 
summer pajamas but we have that one for now I got him this cute little linen shirt how cute is this it's just like an ivory cream color with some palm trees on them and like a sage sort of green and then it's got some little wooden buttons on it I thought that was really really cute and good for summer because linen's nice and like breathable and then to go with those I actually thought these would go really well these are a what are these called they're just like some shorts multicolored shorts but I thought these would actually go really well with the linen top well I did on the website now that I've got them together I don't know how well they're gonna go but I just thought these were super cute and they're nice and lightweight as well so really good for those warmer days and then I got him another pair of shorts these are just a pair of board shorts so that'll be good for if we can get to the beach hopefully lockdowns kind of coming to an end towards the end of the year so that we'll be able to like go out to the beach and stuff like that and not feel like we're doing something wrong um but yeah I thought these would be great just for him to go swimming in or just for like a nice on a nice hot day or if he's gonna be in water or anything like that um but they're just like a super cute um like underwater print and I love the color of these too so got him those and then the last two things I got him were some shoes so the first pair are these ones and I am obsessed with these what is that noise oh it's the construction outside um but these oh, how cute are these the little jelly sandals I brought these just for him like during the summer he's i've been obsessed with buying him clothes and shoes lately it's a little bit ridiculous um but yeah these are like a great summer shoe they're super light really easy to clean i feel like they're really nostalgic as well i used to wear these when i was little i remember having like a pink pair like a pink clear pair with some glitter in it and then a clear pair with some glitter in it but i kind of want some of these for myself clearly i'm quite obsessed with the color sage at the moment so we have those and also in sage we have these so just a pair of um sneakers for him as well i don't know like archie has i kind of wish i didn't get these i mean they're only ten dollars so i'm glad i do have them for like if we're going on walks and he's going to be like getting them quite dirty um it'd be good to get these ones dirty as opposed to his other ones like that were a little bit more but yeah these i don't know they're not as cute as they looked on the website. They're a lot more chunky than I thought. These actually won't fit him right now anyway. They're a little bit too big. They're a size six, so same size as these, but these are quite a bit bigger. Like they're a lot wider and they're just a lot bigger. So they won't fit him just yet. Um, maybe like next year or something like that. But again, they're that sage sort of color. I've been obsessed with that color. But yeah, that is what I got from Kmart. That is my most recent Kmart haul. I feel like I haven't done a Kmart haul in so long. I love to go to Kmart and have a look around at every single aisle and go like have a good geese in the store. But obviously being in lockdown, we've been going in and out of lockdowns for like the past two years. So um, I haven't been able to do that as much. When I lived in Queensland, I could, but like ever since coming back to Sydney, I think I had been to Kmart like in store once so I am going to change my phone case and show you guys what it looks like actually let me show you what the back of my phone looks like right now it's kind of gross <laughs> this is <laughs> the current situation of the back of my phone so bad that's what it looks like it actually doesn't look too bad like you can barely tell except for like this big bit here and then this bit here as well but that looks super cute i mean this probably isn't going to be the most protective phone case in the world but it does look really really cute i like it anyway i am about to go and put all this stuff away i'm just about to do a load of light washing as well so i'm gonna go put archie's stuff in the wash so that it's ready to wear and yeah, Ella's home today, so that's been quite nice. Um, we're just going to have a chill day. Good morning. So it is now Thursday, actually afternoon. It's 20 past 12. I've just finished getting ready. Archie's down for a snap. I feel like I say the same thing every time I go to start something. I've gotten ready. Archie's down for a snap. But I have. Um, but anyway, it's Thursday today. Yesterday I didn't vlog anything because 
Honestly, guys, I was so, so tired. Archie woke up at, like, he hasn't been sleeping very well. Like, I don't know if he's going through a sleep progression or what's going on, but he's been waking up at, like, ridiculous hours and, like, staying awake for about three hours at night, and it's just freaking exhausting so yesterday i was just too tired to even function so i didn't really do a whole lot yesterday but today i'm up feeling a little bit better um we've just been chilling out this morning today i need to i've got some things i want to show you guys upstairs which we'll get to shortly and then i want to edit a video for tomorrow so i can put one up tomorrow so that's the plan for today i've also got some washing down here that I need to put away. I bought this flannel the other day. This is just from Princess Polly. It's the Mila flannel, I think it is. And honestly, guys, it's so nice and comfortable. It was a little bit scratchy, though. Like, when I bought it, I was like, oh, it's a little bit like... You know those woolen blankets that you'd have or, like, your grandparents had? My grandparents had, like, heaps of them. But they'd put them on you and they were scratchy. That's what this felt like. But I put it through the wash with some fabric softener and it's really nice now and it's like not as um not structured not as like firm as it was before it's a little bit more like a proper flannel shirt before it felt a little bit more like a coat but it's still nice and thick but a bit more like <laughs> floppy now so I have been loving that that's the newest addition to my wardrobe I love it but I've got to put um the stuff away um and then yeah, I was going to try and film a video today, but I don't think I'll get that done today. I think I'll just film tomorrow. I've got a super casual outfit of the day on today. I need to put a necklace on. I don't know how my hair ended up like this, but I really like it. I just chucked it up in one of those clips um, and then pulled a little bit of strands. It's not brushed or anything, but I think it looks really cute. All the little ringlets at the back. Um, but I've just got this shirt on. I absolutely love this shirt. It's just a... Yeah, plain white one. I got this from Uniqlo and I really love it. Like just the feeling of it. It washes really nicely. It doesn't crease easy. It's super nice. So I've just got that on and then I've also got just these sweatpants. These are actually the Lauren Curtis Lounge sweatpants. Um, I don't think she has that company anymore, but um, I love them. Love the color of them. They're like a khaki, sagey kind of green. And I'm probably just going to put socks on because we're just staying at home today. It's a little bit, um, it's like a weird day today. It's sunny, but it keeps like raining on and off. Oh my God, that's annoying. I was just filming and I completely forgot to press record. But we have a little country road parcel. I've been stocking up on a few things for Archie lately. Um, you guys saw my Zara haul last week. And then I've also picked up a few things since then as well. So... We have a couple of items from Country Road. They have been having a sale. And then I got an email to say they were having like 20% off of their sale items. So I picked them up some stuff from there. Um, I love the quality of Country Road clothes. They are beautiful. But the first thing I got him is this little top here. It's just a ribbed um, forest green striped top. I thought the color of this was so cute. Um, I feel like he always needs new shirts because... He's constantly getting them dirty and, um, yeah, like he spills food and stuff on, on them. So I just picked him up a new top. He's actually got the matching track pants to this. Well, they're not the same material or anything, but they're the same colour. So, um, from Country Road as well. So I just thought I'd pick him up this little top. Such a cute colour. And then this thing next. I'm so excited about this. Um, it's a little parka. What did they call it? A fishtail? Where is the thing for it? It's called the fishtail parka. This one here. It's so, so, so adorable. I've been looking for a, like, jacket for him for the longest time. Anytime I've found one that I like for him, it's never in his size or the size that I need for him. So, I just found this one and I fell in love with it. It's, it's exactly what I've been looking for. It's actually a lot thicker than what I thought it was going to be, um, but that's okay. He's going to be wearing it in winter. It's also a lot bigger than what he is now. So I bought this in a size four to five because um, the only other size they had that was lower than this was a size two to three. And I didn't want it to come next winter. And he's about a size two to three now, two 
more on leaning on the um, size two. But um, yeah, I didn't want to get to next winter and he only fits it for like a short amount of time and I didn't want him to outgrow it. So we thought we'd pick it up in a bigger size. I'm glad we did because this is gonna last him so long as well. Um, but it's just this beautiful khaki color. It's so thick. It's got the like um, tight sleeves so that it keeps him nice and warm. And then all on the inside, it is, I love the details of Country Road things so much. Um, and then on the inside, it's got this beautiful fleece camo in it, which is just really nice. And it's going to be so good for like um, really cold weather, especially if we like go back to New Zealand at some point. It'll be great to take with us there because it'll keep them nice and warm. But I just love the details in the Country Road products. Like down the side here, it says... Um, country road and then it's also got like this little um, kind of tanned country road label there and then the buttons on the back with little split. it's just really really cute and it's a lot nicer in person than what it was on the website it looked beautiful on the website as well but um yeah really really nice in real life too and I love 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 this color it's gonna keep him so nice and warm and it's such good quality so yeah I got that this was actually so it was actually originally $120 and then I believe it was on sale for like $69.95 or something like that and then you got an extra 20% off of that. So that was such a good find and such a good bargain and he can have this for I would say quite a few years now. So I'm happy I got him that. But yeah, that's what we got from um, Country Road. But yeah, that's all I have to update you guys on at the moment. They're cutting the grass next door. Um, as you can probably hear and it's making my house smell like fresh grass but like in a good way it smells really nice and fresh in here all right hello guys so it is now actually Saturday morning afternoon it's 20 past 12 I am actually just about to head out the house I've got to go to the mall today I need to go and pick up a new phone <sighs> you guys this past month has not been my month for technology so you guys saw in my last vlog, I had to pick up a new laptop because my laptop broke. And now my phone has broke. So um, I have to go and get a new one. The, the, top, the front of it's completely shattered and also the back was already shattered. Um, it fell onto the tiles in the kitchen. Face planted the floor. So now I have to go pick up a new phone. Going to grab the new iPhone. I'm really excited about it. Um, I don't know what color I want to get yet. I've seen the Sierra blue and that looks really nice, but I love the gold too. I wish the gold came out in my laptop because that's the color I wanted for my laptop, but they didn't have it. So I'm going to have a look at it when I'm there. Um, I had to make like a little appointment to go in. Obviously, you can't just go in with like um, COVID and lockdown and everything. So I have to head in there and go sort that out. Excited to get a new phone. I just hate buying new technology when I don't need to. I'm like this with like phones, laptops, cars. Like if it still goes, I'm so happy with it. If it's working properly, there's nothing wrong with it. I'm so happy to just keep it no matter how old it is. So yeah, this was like, the back was kind of broken of my phone, but then like the front was perfectly fine. I mean, it was pretty crappy like my th I, my thumbprint on this doesn't work anymore um but yeah it was still going but now I'm getting like splinters as I'm splinters as I'm using my phone I was like um looking like on my phone before and I keep like swiping on it and getting splinters on my fingers so I was like no go get yourself a new one don't just wait for it to completely like go because I've also got like a lot a lot a lot of photos on there so I'll need to get those off too I would hate to lose all of like our photos of Archie like all like when he was born and stuff like that I've got photos videos on there so I need to go pick up a new one so that I can transfer everything but yeah I'm just about to go do that um and I need to take the monitor up to Ola Archie's gone down for his nap so while he's napping and Ola's home I will go and do what I need to do I'll do a little unboxing for you guys when I get home. Do you want to see my outfit today? I feel like my outfit that I'm wearing today has kind of become like my uniform for the base. So 
we have just my white singlet on I've got my jeans these are like the sculpting jeans from Kmart or something they are the comfiest jeans ever and yes I still love my skinny jeans um and then I've got this top here on this is from boohoo I got this last year but I love it it's like a toweling material um super comfortable and nice and lightweight but I feel like at the moment my outfit is just like jeans a singlet and then a shirt I love that and then on my feet I just have my little Chloe sandals love these also brought these last year and they were such a good purchase I love them super comfortable and they look cute with like anything so that's me I'm gonna go off and get my phone and I'll show you guys when I get back all right we have secured the goods we got the phone I'm so excited honestly it was oh, such a bloody mission and it made me super frustrated I went there got the phone tried to pay for it the FPOS wasn't working and then I had to go get cash out to pay for the phone and then my card has like a credit limit oh not a credit limit sorry a withdrawal limit on it so then I had to come home Allah had to get money from his account as well so it was just honestly a big annoying pain in the ass but we have the phone and I'm very excited let's show you guys so this is the phone I got. I got the iPhone 13 Pro. I did want the Max, but there was a three-week uh, three wait on the Max. And honestly, if my phone was fine, I wouldn't mind. But my phone's literally giving me splinters as I use it. So I just got um, the 13 Pro, which is a slightly small one. But to be completely honest, looking at this now, um, it looks like... Um, pretty much the same size as my phone now they have gone ahead and put the case on it for me um so we've just got the clear impact case which is good because I just don't want to break this one how cool is the blue color though it's so pretty I'm gonna take the case off and see. all right and the sun has come out for us but this is what the um Sierra blue looks like I actually love it it's not as dark as I thought it was gonna be so that's good I was gonna get the gold one I actually kind of wanted the gold one um but they didn't have any left in stock so I just went for the Sierra blue but I love it it's so pretty here is my other phone next to it so this is the 8 plus so they are kind of like similar sizing obviously a little bit thinner and then this one here is a little bit bigger, but the screen on this is pretty much the same size. So that one is a mess. Let's get rid of that one. Yeah, it's really nice. I've just taken the case off, so I'm going to put that back on. I also got a little um, glass protector case so that it wouldn't shatter. Yeah, darling. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and set this up. That is the new Sierra Blue iPhone 13 Pro. Alrighty guys, so it is now Sunday evening. We had a super chill Sunday today. It's currently 8.30 at night. I've just put Archie down and got myself ready for bed, done my skincare. Um, but yeah, we had a really nice chill family day today. Ella was home um, and we took Archie out for a little play outside. Um, and just hung out outside for a little bit and then yeah we've just been hanging out at home um, and that's pretty much all we did today I had a nap today as well which was so nice also it was daylight savings the time changed last night so I think the clocks went forward did they go forward or did they go back I'm pretty sure they went forward um, but yeah that's been a little bit of adjustment for bedtime tonight um, I didn't actually realize until like when I was cooking Archie's dinner I was like why is it still light um, and then I realized that the time had changed so yeah that was a little bit of a mish also feel like Archie went to bed at a good time because he's usually tired around like 6 30 but we try and keep him up to like 7 7 30 um, whereas tonight it would have been like he was going to sleep at 6 30 so I think he fell asleep a little bit easier than he has been lately so yeah that wasn't too bad but I mean other than that we've had a super chill day haven't done much else but I thought I would come on here and end this weekly vlog I am going to go write my to-do list for tomorrow and drink some water because I feel really thirsty it's quite warm tonight 
um, and then I'm going to watch something on my laptop. I might watch, oh, I really want to watch um, Squid Game. I don't know, I've been watching Squid Game where uh, I think we're on like the fourth or fifth episode now, um, and it's super interesting. When I first started watching it, I didn't really know what to expect, but I wasn't expecting that. But it's really good. If you haven't watched it, I highly recommend it. It's very good. Um, almost like kind of, it gave me Hunger Games vibes at the start. Um, yeah, I won't spoil it for anyone who hasn't seen it. But it's it's very interesting. Very different. But anyway, I'm going to stop babbling. Thank you guys so much for watching this week's vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like this video if you did. And please subscribe if you want to see more from me. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.